I'm back everyone. You may be in a situation where you're getting this little pop-up that comes up that says this application requires iOS X.0 or later. And this can also happen with iPads and probably iPods as well. Now the main reason why you're getting this little prompt is because your iPhone is on a very outdated version of software and you will actually have to update your iPhone software in order to actually get this update. Now, if you're rocking a very old iPhone, this may be a little bit harder to do, but what you want to start off by doing is you want to hop out of here and you just want to take note of the version of software that you need. So what you want to do here is you want to go and make your way over to your settings application on your iPhone. You want to click down into general, which is right here. You then want to go and click on software update, which is right there. And all you want to do is find the, and download and install the most recent version of software that your iPhone supports. So in this case, you can see I'm on iOS 15.4.1. So if this specific prompt stated, not this one, but if, or any of those ones, but if this prompt has stated I need to be on iOS 16 in the future and I can only get on iOS 15 like you guys can see here, well, I will not be able to install this application on my specific iPhone via the App Store. There are still some other alternatives you have, but the native way you will not be able to do it, which is actually kind of sad and I prefer installing applications this way, but you will not be able to do it mostly because you just can't update your iPhone. So what do you do here? Well, you have a few options. You can either try downloading another application like that app. You can either, you can even try getting an older downloaded version of that you know, specific application by going down the files application on your MacBook or you know, Windows, going through iTunes that way and installing the application that way too. And you can also try downloading an older version of the application, like I mentioned. But sometimes you may have to use you know, specific tools like the Alt Store or maybe sideload an application of some sort, and that may end up fixing it as well. But typically by this way, if you can't actually update your iPhone, then you may be out of luck and you may have to go down a different direction. So that kind of covers it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.